Good morning, everybody, and uh, I'd like to thank the organizing committee for the kind invitation. Um, we'll spend the uh, following uh, few minutes talking about screening. Screening for abdominal aortic aneurysms um, is needed and is important. I have no disclosures, uh, and that's my agenda. Uh, who are we going to screen and why, and is it cost effective? Uh, this is a weak point in our um, field work in Egypt. Most of us are good academicians, but probably uh, we are not giving much attention to the screening, which is mandatory to get good uh, relevant database, and that would help us to convince the authorities that this is a problem and this is a big problem and uh, we need um, to address it. Uh, contributing centers and the future action plan. As per the recommendations uh, in the US Preventive Services Task Force in 2016, uh, we usually go for screening uh, patients of 65 to 75 years of uh, age uh, who have ever smoked. Uh, family history uh, positive, having other comorbidities, and that's a great B recommendation. And the screening is done once by ultrasound in that time span. So what about women? Traditionally, <clears throat> it has been uh, promoted, uh, this concept that uh, women are much less affected by uh, triple A's than, than men, and um, on the other hand, they are at high risk of mortality from surgical repair than men. Uh, if we compare open repair to endovascular repair, but the reality is on the ground that we have seen in Egypt in the last few years, a rising prevalence, uh, although globally we are much less than Europe in having aneurysmal disease, who, have, who are seeing much more occlusive disease, um, an increase in the number of cases operated also in women, uh, that was taken from various reports in the different centers in Greater Cairo over the last year. Why screening? One in three aneurysms will eventually rupture. That's, that's uh, a sad part of the story. And when rupture occurs, mortality still is within the range of 80 to 90 percent uh, for the very pathology of. Uh, these patients that we're talking about. But if you add to that logistic problems and uh, availability of dedicated team and so forth, and the traffic problem in the greater Cairo area, uh, not, met, not to mention the remote areas, of course, uh, that would add to the magnitude of the uh, disastrous situation when rupture occurs. Uh, so by screening and timely intervention, we can save lives and minimize the burden of a real socioeconomic challenge that's the, our screening program, uh, which was initiated by the NAD group, uh, National Aortic Aneurysm Days. That was the concept, to have a National Aortic Aneurysm Days, and then it evolved into screening and training and education, uh, a group of interested working group by uh, uh, professors from Cairo and Shams uh, Universities and the Military Hospital and the uh, General Organization of Teaching Hospital Institutes. Um, the targets is by year 2022 is to have screened 3,000 uh, subjects. A very simple uh, screening form, which is given to the ultrasonographer, uh, those patients who come to the hospital not complaining of any vascular disease and not complaining of aneurysm, but coming uh, within that selection criteria, they are subjected to the abdominal, abdominal pelvic ultrasound uh, and it would take just 10 minutes, uh, but it needs a dedicated team of radiologists and ultrasonographers with us because we as vascular surgeons are often quite busy. Um, these are the board directors from Cairo and Shams University and Military Hospitals. Uh, of course, the, within the activities of the Vascular Society of Egypt, we have a representation from UK Vascular Centers, from Watford, Dr. Renan, and from Sheffield, Dr. Nassim, and from Poland as well. They have joined us and um, Dr. Said Ali from Ireland, he missed it, unfortunately this year, and uh, newly joining uh, well-renowned names as uh, Dr. Samir Kusayev from uh, Kingdom Saudi Arabia. 
uh, scientific support and accreditation by uh, IUA and RCSI. So after four years, the concept of NADIS Transforming International Network, uh, the stakeholders are the ones that you see on the, the slide. Uh, the, the, all, the ultimate goal is serving community training, education, and awareness. Um, and these are quickly our results. Uh, it's not pretty much higher as it is the case in Europe, as you can see. The usual comorbidities and um, in phase one, uh, initially, two cases were detected out of 104. But does that mean that our incidence is 2%? Probably it's less than that, because we need larger numbers. We are waiting for relevant and meaningful statistical uh, figures. Uh, and in phase two, we added further 70 citizens which were screened. Uh, again, two intrarenal, one suprarenal. We added uh, new citizens from the Fayoum government raid, Aswan and Suhaid, and these are the unknown soldiers, the, the, the officers on the ground, especially from uh, Aswan University, which I'm supervising, the vascular department over there, currently, in addition to activities at Shams University, of course. So, we recruited officers first, uh, volunteers to, have to give of their time, especially from the radiology department, and they cooperated a lot. Probably we were lucky in the initial phase, but this needs more action. We need to build upon that. Uh, and I call them the young vascular stars. The future plan is to involve more centers, uh, have awareness campaigns, uh, especially in Upper Egypt, and seeking funding from NGOs. We have to work on that. We have a special website for us uh, and uh, exchange experience and case reporting. And uh, to NED, to embrace all interests in vascular surgery. Thank you very much. I'm done. Thank you very much.